Hello children, good morning all of you. Today for CA Foundation course and class 10-11 also. Geometric progression part 2. That means you have already got one lesson. You must go through that lesson before going through this video because there are formulas. Formulas you have to learn and you have to remember also. Now please pay your attention on the board. Sums number 1. Find the number of terms of a GP whose first term is this common ratio is 2 and the last term is 384. Solution. Here first term A equal to 3 by 4, common ratio R equal to 2 and last term L equal to 384. We have to find out number of terms. Let the number of terms be L. Then by the problem last term is given here 384. So L equal to a r to the power 8 minus 1 this is the formula we are get getting from video 1 part 1 video you will get this formula and after writing the formula we have to write the relevant values that is last term 384 first term 3 by 4 and common ratio that is common ratio 2 2 to the power n minus 1 and then by cross multiplication we are getting 384 into 4 equal to 3 into 2 to the power n minus 1. Now this 3 is coming right side to left side so it will be divided by cancellation it is coming 128 into 4 equal to 2 to the power n minus 1. How this step is coming this rough work is needed it's uh, this part is not possible for solving mentally. This is why rough works right side of the pair we have to show that is by LCM we are getting the factors from this 128 and 4 this total number of 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 2 to the power 9 so in place of 128 into 4, in place of this, we may write 2 to the power 9 equal to 2 to the power n minus 1. Now log of indices, what you have learned at class 9, bases are same, then power will be equal. Therefore, n minus 1 equal to 9. By solving, we are getting n equal to 10. Therefore, required number of terms is 10. Sum is completed. You have to formula you have to remember the formula and step if you follow attentively then easily you will understand. Next up, find the geometric series whose fourth term is 54 and seventh term is 1458. Solution. Let the first term and the common ratio be A and R respectively. Fourth term that is A R to the power 4 minus 1 equal to that is 54 given in our sum and by simplifying we are getting a r cube equal to 54 this is denoting by number 1 and the seventh term that is a into r to the power 7 minus 1 this is coming from formula what you have learned at part 1 video on geometric progression and here it is given 1, 4, 5, 8. After writing and simplifying, we are getting this. This is denoting by 2. Now 2 divided by 1, 2 divided by 1, that is a r to the power 6 divided by a r cube equal to 1, 4, 5, 8 divided by 54. And the a and a will be cancelled. r equal to 6 minus 3. This 3 is coming denominator to numerator so power this will be minus and by cancellation it is coming 27 so r cube equal to 27 cube root of r that is 3 cube root that is 27 if you take the cube root that is 3 into 3 into 3 therefore r equal to 3 i think it is clear now putting r equal to 3 in 1 in 1 that is a r cube equal to 54 
that is in place of r that is we are getting 3 so in place of r we are putting 3 cube equal to 54 and a equal to cube means 27 3 cube then 54 by 27 by solving we are getting a equal to 2 now we are getting the first term and common ratio so easily we will get the geometric series that is the required geometric series is first term 2 and common ratio that is 3 that is 2 into 3 that is 6 6 into 3 that is 18 18 into 3 in this way we are getting the geometric series this is the answer i think this is also clear to you now <coughs> MCQ, choose the correct answer from the given option. Statement and the options are given clearly in each uh, sum. You have to follow the step and then you will give the text marks. Answer of this is not given here. You know very well, answer you will get in next sorts. Okay, thank you everybody.